is to um, have a short recorded webinar will be available in our portal later on. We would also send you the slides just to cover diverse topics. Ours today is going to be our cloud services. Uh, many of you are familiar with them. Uh, some of you are not. Uh, the intention or the focus is on sales. And um, so we're going to touch on a few points. And obviously, there may be questions uh, generated that you may have later on. We'll be happy to answer those later or uh, follow up with an email uh, to selps at epg.com or you can uh, email to me directly mario.cuello at epg.com. So let's not uh, waste any time and just get into it right now here. All right, a little bit about EPG, just one slide here. We're uh, 30 uh, employees in three locations. We're about 23 years. Uh, in business started in the year 2000, de develop all the products from scratch. Uh, it is not based on any kind of uh, asterisk platform or similar open source. Uh, polish over the years and um, uh, we continue to polish the product in the sense of adding features and so forth. But uh, right now it's very stable um, and it is proprietary, as I mentioned. Uh, we've been doing gateways and appliances uh, PBX appliances initially, and then we started doing cloud services uh, four years ago, having two products, uh, ECMON monitoring platform and the ECQX uh, uh, cloud PBX. Uh, we started focusing on a small to medium enterprise, but now we pretty much attack verticals, uh, contact centers, hospitality, health, educational institutions, government, multi-site, and uh, uh, pretty much with features and functionalities that tailor to those verticals. And our philosophy is service. Um, you know, we feel that at the end of the day, we can give you a good product, but we need to provide you the service. Uh, and that means in training, in support, in assistance for you to be able to be successful. These products are complicated as they are. And um, the idea is for you to have time to sell. And uh, we, we give you the assistance to be able to make that happen uh, and resolve technical issues. So a couple of slides on what is the advantage of EPG to the channel, that is to you. Uh, first of all, our products are mature, feature rich, and they're good quality, and they're very reliable. Okay, we, like I said, we have, we have 22 years of time to be able to bring them to what they are today. Uh, you don't have to pay any maintenance for software updates. You just do that through our portal. In the case of the cloud, we'll take care of that uh, ourselves. Uh, by the way, if we do a software maintenance on your cloud instance, we will ask you first um, if you, if you, you know, when we can do it to schedule that. And if you don't want to do it, we will not do it. But we're just not going to do it arbitrarily. Uh, two items in here: you can bring your own SIP endpoint uh, phones. We don't make phones, uh, and uh, we don't force you to use our phone. And you can also bring whatever SIP trunk you like. We're not in the business of, of uh, doing SIP trunk. We're just in the business of hosted PBX. We do have a, an eco software phone that is uh, very popular, uh, getting a lot of uh, usage nowadays. Uh, it's to some extent customizable. You can change the logo. You can change the banner on the phone and have your own to give you some customization um, when you install that on your customers. We have an excellent technical support team. FPG has about 30 employees, and most of them are uh, engineering uh, and support validation um, jobs. And you know we have a, a very strong influence in our development team to uh, assist in support. The product is constantly improving. Uh, we always have releases with you know some bug fixes here and there, but there's always some new little feature added. Uh, most of them are coming from, from you, from the field. Uh, and the idea is, uh, you know, tell us what you need on the product. And if it makes sense, we'll add it for you. Uh, things that you may not be able to do with a competitor product where you don't really have uh, the opportunity to influence uh, what goes in the, in, the, in the software. There's no hidden or upfront cost. Everything is very clear. You know, we don't, we don't have, uh, uh, light, uh, you know, set up fees or anything like that on the cloud uh, solution. Uh, and we have very good price points. You know, we, we sell to you and the, our intent is to allow you to have enough margin 
as that you can when you resell the product so that that makes it attractive for you to carry uh, EPG. And we have the best of both worlds. You know, we got cloud and on-premise uh, products. So the GUI the, is the same for both. So if you're familiar with one, you can do uh, the other and you don't have to use a separate uh, product for cloud or for on-premise. Uh, you get everything with EPG. Uh, we have what we call an enhanced EPG ecosystem. You know, the, the, the features on the product today are very complete. Um, now we focus more on adding uh, relationships to other functions. And here's just a list of some of them. Uh, we do integrate uh, with MS Teams. We work with MS Teams. You don't have to pay anything to EPG to integrate to Teams. You just have to follow the Teams uh, rules and uh, order the proper licenses. Uh, we also have a CRM integration with Vitagra and Salesforce, and we're adding other uh, CRM uh, vendors in the list. Uh, we also work with hospitality PMS systems uh, through uh, middleware um, partners, Char and Tiger TMS. They essentially offer a piece of software that connects to our PBX and also connects to most of all, if not all, of the PMS uh, systems out there in the market for hotel management. So instead of us integrating with the PMS directly, which is a lot of burden, there's too many of them. Uh, we have worked with these partners who are experts in that side of the of the solution. Uh, we also have WebRTC in, in our high-end appliances and in the cloud, we have WebRTC um, uh, capability. So you, you, can, you can receive calls from any WebRTC device uh, browser. Uh, to your PBX extensions, or even use the trunks if you like. And we have Outlook click to dial options, uh, also working with many uh, SIP endpoints besides phones, door openers, cameras, paging adapters uh, that are usually registered as an extension uh, to the uh, PBX. And we also have our ECMON cloud monitoring. I think we think it's a, a, an advantage for you as a channel to use that tool. It helps you uh, tremendously. Uh, here in the in the picture you see on the right side uh, the uh, call history for the eco uh, pane and then in the bottom uh, you see a red button that is like a call epg via webrtc we have our web page and uh, we'll give you the code for that for you to inject in the web page it's very easy just a uh, pretty much a, a url link and then on the left side there's a, a little window there it's a little bit hard to see but uh, it's a pop-up window for our, our Chrome click to dial. So if you have that installed, and it actually is a free uh, extension to Chrome, if you if you uh, move your mouse uh, over a, uh, a phone number on any browser, um, on any window open on the Chrome browser, it will pop up the window and let you place a call to that destination number and connect it to your extension. Okay, so... Uh, advantages to the end user, most of these are going to be the same as what you have with um, um, uh, as a channel, you know, benefit as a channel, but they pretty much extend to the end user. So the idea is to, you know, tell you this is what is good for you as a channel to use FPG, and these are the things that are going to be good for your end user to use FPG. Uh, many of them are the same. Mobility is something very important uh, for end users nowadays, especially on the SMB space. So you know, work from home, office or anywhere, we got uh, functionality that would allow you to be very mobile, including, for example, the eco soft phone. Uh, clear voice, our voice is very clear, well polished. Uh, you can use different codecs if you like, or stick to G711, which is what most of the people are doing nowadays. Uh, but we also have, for example, Opus, which came in recently. Uh, so we have clear voice, as long as you have a good uh, uh, packet, uh, delivery from point A to point B, you're going to get very good, clear voice. Uh, secure system, our system are not open to any uh, solution to be installed in the, either the appliances and obviously on the cloud. And you can secure on the appliance side using activating firewalls. Uh, you can also do it uh, on the cloud side and um, activate, for example, SIP intrusion detection. Um, or diagnostics for passwords and code routing uh, tables so that you have strong uh, secure system. Uh, feature rich, uh, very reliable, very flexible. 
uh, many SIP endpoints can be used. Your customer is not tied up and forced to be uh, using a new phone because a lot of these uh, phones out there that are SIP uh, will be auto configured by our system. Uh, soon to be added SMS, uh, it's a new feature we're going to add, talk about that at the end of the presentation. And uh, you can use, they can use their, their SIP trunk provider. So whether you as a channel provide them the SIP trunk bundle with a PBX or you tell them to go buy it directly and connect to it, it's up to you. Uh, is flexibility to the end user. And one more thing is uh, advanced functional tailored for end business, end user business needs. And that is important because we will help you uh, position, depending on your customer's needs, the features that, that will be useful to them. Um, and uh, the idea is to give you the, uh, the possibility to customize the product a little bit better than any other standardized cloud offerings so that your customer gains from that experience and have something extra uh, than just a basic uh, uh, host of PBX functionality. The screen on the right shows our new SMS. is a conversation, uh, different participants, different colors. Uh, we're just playing with it now. We'll have it released um, uh, in a month or so. Okay, so let's talk about our cloud services. Um, Obviously, to us, it's important, uh, and we desire cloud uh, installations more than on-prem because it's recurring revenue. I mean, on-prem, our products are installed; they run for 15 years. Uh, you hardly make any money on that, besides the initial sale. Now, you as a reseller obviously can have uh, different services or changes to configuration, but us as a vendor, is pretty much a one-time sale. So we love to be able to have people use our cloud, right? And we do have two products or two services on the cloud. One is a monitoring tool, ECMON, uh, which is a tool for you as an integrator to use. And the other one is the ECQX uh, PBX, which is a virtualized flavor of our appliance software for the cloud. It is instance-based and uh, essentially gives you the same functionality as our uh, PBX appliance. So advantages of our ECQX over other solutions, um, again, solid platform, we run it redundantly on our cloud. So when you subscribe uh, an instance with us, we run a master and a slave synchronized in different uh, cloud providers uh, so that, uh, and they're synchronized, the master uh, usually is the one that runs uh, the functionality, if it fails, the slave will take over immediately. And that is included on our cloud, uh, hosted cloud service. Uh, advanced functions, I'm listing a couple of them here that are typically not in other products. Uh, you know, park and page uh, is a good one. Uh, alarm reporting, dial not notifications. Uh, and of course, we have some that you can subscribe to individually, such as call recording, audio conference, and so forth. Uh, you can monitor the system via the ECMON platform, uh, very good pricing, and we don't sell to end users. That's very important. Some other hosted platforms sell to you as a reseller, but then they circumvent you and end up selling to the end user directly. Freedom to use your own SIP endpoint and SIP trunk. Uh, the maintenance and the support is included uh, in our uh, offering. There's no long-term contracts. You don't have to have a three- or five-year contract with FPG. And it includes an eco soft phone for each extension. Now, okay, so our FPG hosted, uh, and, and I want to clarify that because we do have another option I'll mention in a minute, but the ECQX that is FPG hosted, uh, again, it's, a, it's a, an instance that we activate uh, per customer, uh, it is not a multi-tenant solution, but we'll take care of that. We'll acti activate an instance, individual instance for your customer in the cloud. And then you go in, once you get the credentials from us and you configure it via the GUI, same way you would do an on-premise appliance. Uh, we provide a, a, an account for you as a reseller in our portal, fpgcloud.com. And in that account, uh, you can log in and then you can go to the store, select items, like for example, activating uh, an ECQX um, instance or adding extensions to an existing one or adding co-recording uh, receptionist for e-call, 
uh, or uh, soft phone uh, uh, capability uh, to existing uh, instances. So it's a la carte, you order these items and then you uh, go to the checkout. And at the end, once you check everything uh, and provide uh, required information, then you do the checkout via PayPal and we charge your PayPal account uh, prorated uh, when you start the service until the end of the month. And then the first of the following month, we will charge you on a monthly basis, that amount uh, to your PayPal account, which is essentially on your credit card. So very easy. Uh, if you want to make adjustments, uh, if you want to, for example, remove extensions uh, or, or remove call recording, you can do that uh, anytime. Uh, it will be activated on the following month. Uh, so very simple, very non-restrictive. And if you want to test this, just let us know. We'll let you have a 30-day free uh, cloud instance uh, with support for you to come up to speed. Uh, here are some of the icons that we have on the cloud uh, portal. Uh, and I'm going to describe them here uh, in this next slide. Uh, so you can order uh, ECQ instances in bundles of three extensions. That's the smallest, 5, 10, 20, or 40. And the price uh, gets cheaper as you go in the higher extension count. You can also add individual extensions. So let's say you have 10 and now you need 12. You can just add two more. And so order extensions independently. Uh, it comes with a uh, audio conference ports. Uh, but we, if, if you want to add additional ones, and these are simultaneous participant ports, you can do so on the store. Uh, or you can add in, uh, CRM integration uh, for Retiger uh, Salesforce uh, or the call center bundle. Now, call center bundle is a combination of features that normally are activated via license in our appliances. Uh, here, we bundle those on a call center package, and those include the uh, FGACD console for supervisors and agents on inbound calls uh, and queues, uh, automatic call distribution uh, for creating the, the queues, and then uh, two products, uh, automatic outbound calling and auto dialer for outbound campaigns. And then we also have Bargen in that bundle. So uh, for call center stuff, get with me, and I have separate presentations that uh, we can uh, cover, give you an idea in more detail of this functionality. You can also order additional eco soft phones if you want to have more than one to a customer or call recording ports. All right. There's another way to uh, host ECQX, and that is what we call the ISO. And in this case, it is not hosted by FPG. In this case, we'll give you the software, we'll activate licenses for you for instances, and then you install that in your own cloud. It could be uh, boxes in your own facility, in your own lab. It could be co-located, uh, and typically you can install on on VMware or Hyper V or AWS or on a on a on a uh, bare metal uh, box. Uh, and uh, usually, it's very good software performance. So we do. Uh, here's an example with VMware. Uh, having a CPU with eight cores at two gigahertz, 32 gig of RAM and two gig of storage. Uh, you can pretty much run between 20 and 32 instances with 10 simultaneous calls each at the same time. So it gives you uh, uh, an idea of the performance. Uh, so uh, what we do is uh, we also give you an eSimon account so that these instances are going to show on eSimon. Uh, it's included on the price, and actually, it is a requirement. You know, if, if you do your own ISO, uh, you must connect to ECMON because that is a way that we validate the license on your instances, right? Now, you can take, you can install, uh, once we give you the credentials, you install the software on whatever hardware you like, and then if you want to move it somewhere else, you can do that as you wish because the software is not tied up to any kind of hardware ID or a hard drive ID is just connecting to our cloud and validating the license. So you're free to do that anytime, uh, move it anywhere you like. Uh, then uh, the way we do this for the ISO, there's not a fixed price list as in our own hosted. 
what we do is that, uh, you know, we want to start with a bundle of extensions, let's say 300 extensions, and then uh, you can use as many instances as you like to split these extensions. And we typically agree on a price, uh, a feature bundle, and then charge you on a quarterly basis. Uh, you don't use the cloud portal for that. But again, there's no long-term contracts. We just want to have an agreement on a commitment. And, uh, you know, we don't want to do uh, ISO for 10 extensions because the price is very cheap and the support and the maintenance and all that is included. So we just want to support uh, someone for very, very little money. So, uh, but it is available and it's very popular um, with a lot of resellers that want to do their own, their own cloud. Uh, so you can do the, you can just your, use your own logo on eCall. You can also use your own logo on the GUI if you like. And what we have done is we have bundled it in basic and pro bundles uh, uh, just to make it easy. And most of the people use our basic uh, bundle. But if you want to have a separate bundle, it could be discussed. Okay, that is the EasyQX ISO. Uh, and obviously, the price is cheaper than us hosting it. So very, very competitive in that sense to other solutions. Okay, and then now we get to our ECMON, uh, the monitoring tool. Again, it is, a, it is a service for you as a reseller to provide better service to your customers. The idea is uh, that you can be proactive instead of reactive. And what I mean by that is that ECMON gives you uh, a lot of alarm reporting of many conditions, and you, you can be alerted to that once you configure those and uh, for example, you have bad quality call reported on a customer in a certain extension, uh, you may get an alarm for that and you may call him up and say, hey, something is wrong, we're getting bad quality call, let's see what's wrong, uh, before the customer gets very upset and calls you and uh, you, know, you don't wanna do that. So again, be proactive and not reactive. So uh, ECMON lets you uh, get events uh, for alarms it can uh, allows you to maintain, uh, get additional information and maintain uh, the customer uh, system, particularly for the on-premise devices. It lets you do remote uh, GUI access uh, to it via a VPN tunnel, so it makes it easier for you to handle on-prem. But on the cloud, uh, also lets you uh, monitor, license the phones that are registered, uh, uh, Concurrent call activity at a certain time of the day that helps you maybe uh, a size a different SIP trunk provider or a different bandwidth connection. Uh, uh, handle your music on hold, uh, handle your software versions. Um, you can also save and uh, restore configurations, update the firmware and so forth. So essentially you have a tool that in one place allows you to see all your devices and facilitates a lot of these activities uh, complementary to the to the cloud uh, PBX. Now, if you want to use ECMON on an appliance, you can also do that. that also, in that case, will sell you uh, a license for that. It's very cheap. It's uh, monitoring one appliance is only twenty dollars a year. It's a little bit more than a dollar a month. All right. Here are some uh, ECMON events. Uh, for example, if the system reboots, you get an event for that. If you uh, configure for credits on a certain route and uh, the credits expire, you can get an alarm for that. Uh, if you're using uh, redundancy on, a, uh, on an on-premise and the redundancy is down, it will alarm you for that. If the call quality uh, on a call is bad, you can get a, an alarm. Uh, same if someone logs into the system, you can also get a notification for that. Uh, so there's a lot of options for you to choose from on getting this uh, events uh, reported. And now we're getting to our eco soft phone. Um, very popular product, again, available on your cloud instance hosted by FPG. It's included. Uh, it is available for Windows, iPhone, and Android. So you download from the uh, stores of the uh, mobiles and then, or download the Windows from our portal, install it, and then just configure it, okay? Uh, it does have several features. It has a good option on directories. You can get the mobile, Outlook, um, 
or your and the PBX extensions shown on the as a directory on Eco, or you can have favorites. Uh, you can get your voicemails, retrieve your voicemails. Uh, you can see a call history, missed calls, uh, completed calls, and you can click to dial to recall uh, or or redial on those uh, on that history. If you would you like to use presence, you have presence status uh, options on eCall too. And uh, if you want to have instant messaging, it's included. You can do texting uh, uh, among other eCall participants in conversations. Uh, and we're, again, we're adding an SMS option here, which is going to expand on that. Uh, it lets you have multiple SIP accounts and multiple line appearances uh, per SIP account. Um, you can upload your own logo and banner. And one of the biggest features is that it does have 20 programmable keys. And you'll see the picture on the right uh, showing some of those. Uh, you can do uh, watch extensions and intercept calls. Uh, you can have speed dials. You can do park extensions. You can also retrieve a shared voice mailbox uh, using a key or activate uh, audio conferences uh, or activate a callback uh, to a uh, to the last number, that the last call that you receive uh, or, or switch between day and night service, uh, for example. So there is um, a tremendous amount of options. The same things you have on a BLF button on a desk phone is available to you on these multi keys. There is also an option to activate a receptionist console, uh, very uh, convenient. So if you have a receptionist, um, you, you give her e-call, uh, uh, install on Windows using a headset and then activate the receptionist pane. And then uh, he or she can uh, see watch extensions and do whatever receptionists do using that that option. And one more item is uh, a lot of people configure eCall as a parent-child extension uh, so that they can work from home during COVID. It was very popular. People would leave their desk phone in the office, install eCall on their laptop or on the phone, connect it as a child extension to the desk parent, and it will be one and the same. And, uh, and uh, so a lot of people are used doing that nowadays, that way they're free to work from, you know, from home, from the coffee shop, whatever they're going to be that day, which is all that part of that mobility, uh, mobility initiative. Okay. One more slide on the roadmap. Um, uh, what we're working on, I already mentioned to you, we're doing SMS on eco. It's going to be very flexible. Uh, you can have different carrier than your SIP trunk for the SMS. You're going to have either one DID assigned to e, uh, equal extension or have a general uh, SMS, uh, one or many DIDs assigned to the PBX. And there are many different ways that you can use uh, this uh, DIDs for inbound or outbound uh, SMS. But one of the things that we have done that is interesting is uh, you can set up a DID, for example, uh, for sales for SMS. And if you get text coming in from customers, it will trigger automatic conversations to a selected uh, sales group on their eco um, soft phones. And then the salespeople can reply back to that uh, person. Uh, you can uh, exit uh, that conversation if you like or mute it. Uh, and it's a very easy way for you to uh, have your customers uh, respond to customer requests uh, via SMS using eco. Uh, we're also going to have an option to have a signature on your text going out. It's optional. If you want to put there your voice number or your extension, you can do that. So uh, I think uh, we'll have this available in our software uh, by the end of this month or in January. And uh, if you want to test it, we'll be happy to uh, let you try it. I think it gives another dimension to the solution, uh, the fact that you can do uh, SMS. Uh, there's also going to be records available on the PBX of all of the text conversations, so you can download that. An admin can download that for archiving or, or monitoring or coaching purposes. Uh, right now, the, uh, our SMS works with ClearFly, SMS with Telnex and Twilio, and others will be added, uh, other carriers will be added uh, later on. Uh, other uh, roadmap options are uh, we have added, um, we have tested with Avaya J-Series SIP phones. 
Some people wanted to use Avaya open uh, SIP type phones with FPG. Uh, we tested those. We're going to be able to auto configure those uh, later on. And we're adding new Yalink and fam FAMBIL phones to, to the mix. Uh, and we're also trying uh, finishing integration with third party E911 services for enhanced location information. Um, uh, we're going to be announcing that next month. Uh, we have three partners uh, that we're working with that on, and essentially you subscribe to their service to make sure that you meet uh, any kind of regulatory E911 compliance that, that may be uh, uh, required from you. And we're just finishing also adding another CRM to the mix, which is a Zoho CRM. Uh, 